hearings and firings in Port Wentworth have the city council and the mayor at odds. News 3's Andrew Davis was with the mayor today to find out why people were let go and who's really in charge. Can you answer some questions for me today? This, uh, in front of the camera, sir? Yeah. I was with Mayor Gary Norton when he walked into interim city administrator Steve Davis's office looking for answers. It comes after two high profile firings in the past week. Last week, city clerk Cheryl Davis, who'd been with the city for 14 years. Nothing in her file. Yes, sir. And you're fired. Yes, sir. What for? Sir, it was on the, the discharge papers and her separation notice. The latest, Director of Public Safety Matt Libby, after nearly a decade with the department, he was dismissed on Wednesday. He's been a, a, an asset to this community for years. Uh, the crime rate's low in Port Wentworth. I think we were like number 12 last year in the state. And, and I just don't see, uh, I mean, he don't know Libby either. So why is he coming here firing Libby? Steve Davis has been in office less than a month. And according to Chief Libby, had only spoken to him once before Wednesday's firing. He says Davis has never been to the police department and has not given the chief his legally required separation papers. You've been here two weeks and you fired yes, Cheryl. Yes, sir. You ain't made three weeks and you fired Libby. Yes, sir. Shouldn't the mayor know that Libby's going to be fired? Mayor Norton says Davis was pushed into office by a four council member voting block at the last meeting, even though Davis never went through formal interviews with several key people, including the mayor himself. Nobody's met with uh, Steve Davis and had an interview with him. Linda has it, Bill has it, I have it. Uh, Phil Jones or Jimmy Corsi have had a meeting with him. Norton says these decisions have shocked the city and put everyone on edge. Everybody that works for the city. That are thinking, am I next? Am I next? And, and that's a hostile work environment. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3. Mayor Norton has contacted the Attorney General's office to look into whether the four council members violated an open, meeting, an open meetings law.